Last week, Live Golf, the controversial upstart golf league bankrolled by Saudi Arabia, signed a TV deal for its tournaments to be broadcast on the CW network, whose parent company, Nexstar, also owns News Nation. Live's Saudi ownership has come under intense criticism based on the killing of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi, as well as the Saudi connections to 9 11. Critics accusing the Saudis of trying to use golf to put a friendly face on a murderous regime, and now some accusing the CW of being complicit in the Saudis' mission. A number of major sports outlets denounced the deal after news broke last week, and the National Press Club, a major organization for journalists based in Washington, issued a blistering statement blasting the CW and Nexstar. Quote, we are deeply disappointed that a company that makes money from news like Nexstar would agree to participate in such a shameful PR stunt as Live Golf, which is fundamentally designed to rehabilitate the Saudi reputation tarnished irreparably by the state-ordered gruesome murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in October 2018. We're left to wonder what, if anything, Nexstar stands for. You cannot have a brand in news and act this way. Saudi Arabia murdered a Washington Post journalist and cut him up with a bone saw. We call on Nexstar employees, many of whom are journalists, to demand management explain why they've partnered with the murderers of a journalist. We urge Nexstar to do the right thing and cancel their bloody golf show. Now, of course, when I read that, I thought, I got to have them on. That's interesting. Let's be clear right out front. The murder of Jamal Khashoggi was an atrocity, and it's clear the Saudis were behind it. They deserve the strongest possible con condemnation. But the criticism of this deal feels like selective outrage. Saudi Arabia is a bad actor, without question. There are a lot of bad actors who do business with American media companies on sports rights. Just last month, Fox Sports broadcast the World Cup from Qatar and accepted ad dollars directly from that regime, even having their own announcers participate in commercials thinly disguised as feature stories. Thousands of migrant workers died building the World Cup stadiums. And the regime has been denounced for a variety of human rights abuses, from stifling journalists to banning homosexuality. And what about China? A number of sports organizations and networks have deep ties to China. And by almost every metric, they're a significantly worse actor than Saudi Arabia. The non-government NGO Fund for Peace ranks China the third worst nation in the world when it comes to human rights. It also ranks Russia, which previously played host to the Olympics and World Cups, the 12th worst Saudi Arabia, 22nd. Last February, NBC aired hundreds of hours of programming from Beijing, site of the Winter Olympics. There was little critical coverage of the brutal Chinese regime. Very few mentions of the Uyghurs being held in detainment camps. And the NBA does a massive amount of business with China. But the league, nonetheless, has lucrative broadcast deals with TNT and ABC. So where's the line? Saudi Arabia is bad. But they're not uniquely bad. Joining us now is Bill McCarron, executive director of the National Press Club. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so what am I getting wrong here? No, I think uh, you're right, Dan, um, and thank you for having me on. I think selective uh, outrage maybe is, is, is accurate, but let me explain. So uh, I agree with most of what you said there. Um, there, is, uh, there is only one Washington Post journalist who's been uh, murdered for what he was writing, that I know of, and that was Jamal Khashoggi. And so I do think that we're selective in, the, in, in this case because I do think it's, uh, it's different than, than, than others. And I'm not saying that, I'm not excusing China or any of the other people that you were uh, mentioning. We did work on a case uh, in China, uh, Hayes Fan. She was being held in prison, and uh, there was an announcement that she was released with, uh, from prison to home detainment uh, close to the game. So we think. When we keep pressure on cases like this, it can be uh, useful or helpful. In the case of Jamal, we're just trying to see if we can get justice for Jamal. Did, did you make a statement at the time about China, about the bloody regime, and anyone who works at NBC News should be making, uh, should be denouncing it, and how can they possibly do business with them, et cetera? Well, as I say, uh, China did not murder a Washington Post journalist. China did not lure a Washington Post journalist. What China did was jailed a Bloomberg journalist, Hayes Fan, and we did uh, give her uh, the same award we gave Jamal Khashoggi. We did call for her immediate release, and we, did th we think we helped achieve that release. Let me, Ch I'm, but I'm a, I wanted to say one other thing, yeah. Dan, about, about, about Nexstar. And, um, you know, we, th we are afraid that Nexstar may be too casual with the, its greatest asset, which is its really 
great journalists, uh, present company, but also the fine people I've been working with here tonight hel helping get this set up. And uh, it is a journalism company, and it does need to pay attention to what's happening in journalism. And um, also, it, its second greatest repu uh, uh, asset is its reputation. And right. I think uh, if there are conversations at Next Star talking about that, we want to be part of the conversation. But again, but I don't know. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.